Hello everyone, this is Mike Mullis from the original Next Level Gaming. I'm coming to you from my Surface Pro 3 tablet. So in our last video about Windows 10, I took you through the Xbox app, and I took you on a tour, showed you all the fun things about it, and then we streamed some Forza Horizon 2 from the Xbox to the PC, and then I was able to show you how I could control the actual television with the controller I was plugged in to the PC with, with very little latency. Now, the Surface Pro 3 is a little different. It's wireless, where my PC was directly connected. And for the purposes of this video, I've even connected the Surface Pro 3 to the 2.4 gigahertz band on my router, even though when I'm you know, doing anything else on it, I prefer my 5 gigahertz band. But I wanted to show you just how well the streaming actually works from the Xbox to this particular tablet. Now, as I've said before, because Microsoft you know, does have some minimum specs and recommendations that they have, your mileage is going to vary. So I have a laptop upstairs. It's an older Toshiba. It's about six years old. It does not stream well at all. It's totally unusable. The app itself is fine, but game streaming just doesn't work. So if you have a tablet like this, if you have something newer, if you have a newer laptop, you're going to be fine. And this video is going to show you all about it. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, here's the app already loaded up on the Surface. And uh, for the purposes of this demo, I'm actually going to use my Xbox 360 controller, and it's going to be wired right into the side of the Surface. Last time I used the Xbox One controller, I just wanted to show you that you can use your 360 controller as well. It's perfectly functional. It's got the same buttons on it. All right, let's get connected, and I'm going to start my stream. Pardon the uh, focusing there. Um, this time I'm actually using my uh, Galaxy Pro 5 camera because, believe it or not, it's the best camcorder of anything that I own. It's so bizarre. All right, so I'm going to load up Beach Buggy Racing. Now, you're saying to yourself, why is he doing another racing game? We just saw him stream Forza Horizon 2 just a week ago. Well, there's a difference. Forza Horizon 2 is 30 frames per second. It's very easy to show and mask latency and lag in a 30 frame per second racing game. What about a 60 frame per second racing game? I could have used a, uh, a first person shooter, but I, I wanted to use a racing game because you have to really have the same kind of reaction time. Uh, plus, it's easier for me to control what's going on on the screen than uh, you know, trying to play Titanfall and trying to figure out how to get into a room and how long it's going to take and all that. So, here we go. Beach Buggy Racing, which has become one of my more favorite uh, just quick and easy racing games. It doesn't have online, unfortunately, and I'm hoping that that's something that comes at some point in time. But um, for a pickup racer that you could just play by yourself or co-op with some friends when they come over, it's a great game. Alright, so, here we go. This is me racing on the Surface Pro 3 with my Xbox 360 controller. And as you can see, I'm having absolutely no difficulty here. Turns are easy. And, uh, you know, look, I'm not, honestly, I'm not anticipating anything with this. I'm racing it as if, um, as if it's a live race. I mean, because it is a live race. But I'm not, you know, and sometimes when you, when you stream something that's got a little bit of lag to it you try to turn before the turn and so on I'm not really doing that I'm just playing the the course as it is so and again don't forget as you hear in the background I am also streaming the audio too that is part of this and as you can see the computer gets a little cheesy <laughs> okay so the reason I paused it is now I'm gonna show you the same thing I showed you last week is that I'm coming up to the television and uh, because this is mirrored basically I can control the television the same way I control the Surface Pro and I wanted to show that there's no trickery going on I'm not using a game DVR there's my Xbox 360 controller that I just used and I'm gonna come around to the other side and uh, I'm sorry I'm gonna take up a little bit of the TV room but I want you to see there's my 360 controller in hand 
I'm con now controlling the game on the TV. I'm not even looking at the surface. And I'm having no trouble. And then remember, this is wireless, too. So, as you can see, it works pretty good. Now, I'm actually going to win this race. I know, because I recorded it. But, um, this is, uh, you know, this is how easy it is to play. So I'm going to let this go a minute and let you listen in. Okay, and now I'm going to give you a little bit of bonus footage. Let's get back down to the surface, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom back in so we can see the entire screen as best I can here. All right, see my little icon in the middle of the bottom row? Perfect dark zero. So as you know, Microsoft has announced backward compatibility, and if you haven't seen our backward compatibility demo video, uh, I'm going to link it in the um, section below you can click on it and check it out but I wanted to show you that not only does the standard Xbox One games stream perfectly fine through the uh, Xbox app so do the backward compatibility games there's no difference between running one of those and running Beach Buggy Racing or Titanfall or Call of Duty or whatever it is you're gonna play and uh, again no lag no problems with controls and um, everything works just as it should so I'm gonna just uh, let you listen in and enjoy a little bit of Perfect Dark Zero
As you can see, there are absolutely no issues. Uh, to be able to play beach buggy racing at 60 frames per second with no lag, with no hiccuping, is amazing. Absolutely amazing, especially over a wireless connection. And don't forget, as I was showing you, there's audio that comes through too. And I just wanted to give you a little bit of Perfect Dark Zero because Xbox's backward compatibility, as we've talked about before, is a pretty big thing. And Microsoft is going to make sure that the backward compatible titles are just as good streaming as the Xbox One titles. All right, this is going to do it for me. Uh, Windows 10 launches later this month for the Windows Preview Insiders. And then from July 29th on, it's going to start rolling out to the general public. And uh, hopefully you guys are going to be able to do what I've been doing for you today um, with your tablets and your laptops. As always... Thank you for uh, coming out with me today to check out this lovely feature. Please leave some comments below if you have any. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Twitter at OG underscore NL Gaming. And uh, we will see you on our next podcast uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. And um, until then, this is Mike Mullis from the original Next Level Gaming. Game on.